Hello, today we're going to look at SPM from 4 Additional Maths Chapter 5 in Indices and Logarithms and we are going to try to solve a few of the past year questions. Question number 1, solve the equation. 3 to the power of x plus 2 minus 3 to the power of x equals to 8 over 9. For this type of question, we always try, try to get rid of the, the 2 here first by factorizing 3x. First, when the power here shows plus 2, it's actually 3x times 3 to the power of 2. And after we and after we form this, I think it's easier for you to see that we can factorize this. You get 3 to the power of x, and then what is left here is 3 to the power of 2 minus 1 equals to 8 over 9. Then we solve this. to the power of 2. And then we can show this in the form of 3 to the power of negative 2. Since 1 over 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of negative 2. Hence, by comparison of the base number, x is equal to negative 2. Question B. 2 to the power of 3x equals to 8 plus 2 to the power of 3x minus 1. As question A, we try to gather this Then we factorize this, get 1 minus this is 1 over 2. And since we are looking for x, we try to change the number here, the base 2 to the power of certain values, which is, so 16 is actually 2 to the power of 4. By comparison, 3x equals to 4, hence 3 equals to 4 over x equals to 4 over 3. Now for this question we don't have to factorize it. We only have to move all the numbers to the left hand side. Okay, what do I mean? First, we move 27 here, you get 3. Hence, by comparison, 2x plus 4 equals to negative 3, and then I x equals to negative 7 over 2. Now look at question number 2. It is given that 3 to the power of 2x equals to k, 3 to the power of 5 equals to h, and given this, and you need to express k in terms of h. So it's very obvious that we need to change this equation by replacing the k and the h into this equation. So I rewrite this. By using the law of indices, we can change this to 3 to the power of y, multiply 3 to the power of 2x. And since it involves the base 3 here, so we try to change the 9 into base 3, which is 3 to the power of 2. Okay, given 3y is h, and given 3, 2, 3 to the power of 2x is k, and here we have 3 to the power of 2x, which is also k, so we get this. Now we just need to arrange the equation to express k in terms of H, so the subject K equals to 7 over H minus 1. Given this, I express P in terms of H. So if we can change the two numbers so that they have the same base number of 5, then we can compare the powers. Okay, so first we try to Move this to here, it becomes 25h plus 3 equals to 125p minus 1. 
Then we change 5 into 5 to the power of 25 to 5 to the power of 2. And 1 to 5 is actually 5 to the power of 3. Over 3. It is given that p equals to 2 to the power of x and q to the power q equals to 2 to the power of y. Express this in terms of p and q. So given the power uh, the values 2 here, we know that we need to change the 8 and the 4 to the base, base number 2. So question A. This is actually equal to 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 2. So maybe for some of you it's hard to see this actually. This is also equal to, for this, uh, it's actually equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Yes, since this is multiplication, 3 times x is actually equal to x times 3. This one is also same, actually 2y of 3. And this one is actually 2x to the power of 2. Hence, 2x is p, so p to the power of 3. 2y is q, q to the power of 3. And 2x is p, p to the power of 2. P to the power of 3 and P to the power of 2 actually can be simplified. So the answer is P Q to the power of 3. So actually, if you want to simplify it here, before you change it to P and Q, you get the same answer. We continue with question B. For question B, find this in terms of X and Y. So log 4 for P to the power of 2, Q. So you see, given P equals to 2X to the power of X, according to the logarithm rule, Actually, x is equal to the base two of the base two log of p. The same applies here. So y equals to the base two log of q. So for those who are not familiar with this, so we take a look at another example. If let's say you have log a b equals to x, if you want to get rid of the log, actually the a here you just move it here. You get b equals to a to the power of x. So that is what happens here. I move the 2 here. I'm just moving the a back to get the log with the base a. So here the 2, I move it here. I get log of base 2 of p equals to x. So log of base 2 of q equals to y. So now I have x and y in terms of log. Then I can try to find the simplified log of this with base 2. So since both of these are in base 2 and I have here base 4, I need to first change the base. So I use the formula to change the base, I get this. Everything here is here and everything here is here. Then I just simplify it. Okay, so this is actually log 2 4 p squared division here according to the quotient rule it becomes negative log to q and for this part is actually log 2 uh, base 2 log of 2 to the power of 2 and then using the power rule I can bring the 2 in front it becomes So it actually becomes the half of all of these numbers, so it's 1 over 2 of And now I can substitute this, okay? Base 2 log of 
p equals to x base 2 log of q equals to y hence this becomes x this becomes y so I get 1 over 2 2 plus 2x minus y